back to my channel friends this is nirav gohil here and in this video we will discuss about yes no not given and true false not given which is one type of question form in ielts reading examination i will give you some tips as well to score high so let's start but before we start friends please press the subscribe button to subscribe my youtube channel while you are subscribing please press the bell symbol as well once you press the bell symbol you will get push notification whenever i will upload new video so what you have to do is press the subscribe button and bell symbol and anytime you can watch my new videos so friends first of all i would like to give you some basic information about yes no not given and true false not given then i will give you three tips to score high so let's start from what is in difference between these two type of questions many students are having confusion what is in difference between yes no not given and true false not given they are searching on internet and they are trying to find the answer but friends you will not get any proper answer because there is no such a major difference and nobody will be able to explain you so don't try to find answer of this question instead of that just focus on your pattern and try to find the answer if you find the information in paragraph and it is 100% relevant to your question you can write your answer as a yes you can write your answer as a true so don't allow yourself to distract try to find the answer but here you have three choices yes no and not given many students are not able to decide their answer so friends here i have one pattern just have a look on it then i will explain you each and everything in detail So friends as you have seen the plan whenever you try to resolve yes no not given type of questions you should ask one question to yourself is the information in paragraph or not if it is not there it means your answer is not given but if it is in the paragraph you have two options yes and no and many students are having confusion in between yes and no they are easily judging whether the answer is not given but mostly students are facing problem in yes and no so how to decide so friends let me give you simple example if your question is like price of apple was 50 rupees per kg in 1970 and if you find some information which is showing that price of apple was 50 rupees in year of 1970 you should write your answer 50 but if you find some information like price of apple was 55 rupees in year 1970 it means the information in the paragraph but it conflicts your question is saying price was 50 rupees but you find the information price was 55 rupees so in that case you should write your answer no So friends this is the overall idea now let's switch to the tips so friends now let's switch to the tips how to find the answer i will give you three tips so let's start from the first one So friends what is tip number 1 So the first tip is keywords So don't try to find answers directly instead of that try to use keywords So what is keywords Keywords means date of birth some year some person's name or it could be some price Keywords means some words that will be easy for you to trace in the paragraph So try to find those kind of words in your questions and then try to find the answer if you are finding your answer directly it will take time and you cannot afford to invest time to finding the answer because you will not get extra 1 minute of time to transfer your answers so try to find keywords let me give you one simple example if you have five questions 
and five paragraph and if you are finding one keyword in question number three it will be very easy for you to find the answer of question number three once you find the answer in paragraph three it will be easy for you because you know that the answer of question number one and two will be in paragraph one and two so very easily you will find the answer so let's move to the tip two So the second tip is open your brain. Friends, many students are having confusion in between yes and no because they are not reading the information and they are not reading the questions. So friends, open your brain and read the question again and again. Try to understand the question and try to understand the information given in the paragraph. Compare that two things. If they are similar, if they are 100% similar, your answer will be yes. And if it is conflict, your answer will be no. And if you didn't find, just relax, write not given. But don't confuse yourself in between yes and no. Open your brain, use your synonyms, try to understand meaning and if it is relates to the question, write your answer yes or else write your answer no but don't waste your time in between yes and no quickly decide and write your answer because as i've already told you you will not get extra one minute of time to transfer your answers so you cannot afford to waste your time so friends hope now it will be clear for you when to select yes and when to select no so let's move to the last tip Last tip is very important for all students. As you are knowing, there will be 40 questions and you will be given 60 minutes of time to find out your answers and note down your answers. They will not give you extra one minute of time to transfer your answers. So it is kind of difficult job to find 40 questions in 60 minutes. So friends, if you have just two or three minutes of time left and five questions left, don't put it blank, bluff something. If it is yes, no, not given, you can write anything. You can bluff because as per my own experience, if you are writing all of your answers as a yes, there are around 60 to 70 percent of possibility that you will get two correct answers. This thing I have observed from Cambridge 1 to 11. So don't put the answer as a blank bluff anything. It could be correct. With the help of that one or two marks, you can jump to 6.5 band. And if you are on 6.5 band, you can jump to the 7 band. So friends, understand the importance of one or two single marks. Don't put it blank. Bluff anything. Try to attempt each and every questions because there is no negative marking. So friends, this is all from my side. If you are following these tips and if you are understanding the pattern, it will be easy for you to find the answer. Understand when to select yes, understand when to select no and understand when to go for not given. Try to practice as much as possible because it is kind of tricky thing. You have to use your brain, you have to understand, you have to understand synonyms, you have to improve your vocabulary. There are so many things in this kind of question form. But if you want to score high, anyhow, you have to attempt this type of questions and you have to score. So friends, please read the instruction carefully. Please understand the question carefully and then write your answer. So friends, this is all from my side. Hope you like my video. If you like my video, please do not forget to press the like button. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please press the subscribe button. While you are subscribing, you will see one bell icon which is next to the subscribe button. Please press that as well. Once you press that bell icon, you will get push notification whenever I will upload new videos. 
so till then friends keep practicing and if you have any queries any doubts you can write me at any time i will reply you very soon so bye bye